welcome or welcome back. My name is Alex and this is Budget Me Alex. I am a 30 year old all cash budgeter. I am on a journey to be completely debt free as well as I do have some pretty big savings goals. So if you're interested in this kind of content, just go ahead and continue watching. So today you guys, I know my upload schedule has been all over the place and I'm really trying to get back on track. But right now I'm kind of just filming when I can, just because it's been a little bit busy lately, but I still wanna make sure that I have some content up for you guys weekly. So today is Monday and I will make sure to upload this on Tuesday as like my regular schedule. And I'm going to do my best to have a video for you guys on Saturday as well. But I know I've been a little bit scattered. I'm trying to get back on track. All is good. Um, just please ignore what my nails look like right now. I'm gonna be redoing them later today, but right now they're pretty busted. So we're just gonna look right past that. Um, today we are stuffing $757 and it will only be priority again, just because like I mentioned in my last video, I wasn't budgeting cash for a little bit. It was literally just like the first few weeks of the month, but that really threw me off. If you guys know, you know, like when you stop cash budgeting for a little bit, everything kind of just like you're spending as you go. And for me, who and for my type of personality, who I like things organized, I like to know where things are going and everything like that. It kind of scatters me a little bit. So that's kind of where I'm at right now. So we're just going to try to get back on track. The next paycheck should be regular again with sinking funds and things like that. And I did get a YouTube paycheck as well, which was actually $363. I will be pulling out my money for my taxes. However, the rest of it, other than my tithes and offerings, so... Any of my giving and my taxes will be taken out. So from there, whatever I have left over, I decided that I won't be stuffing that to sinking funds this month. Normally, I like my YouTube paycheck to be my fun paycheck, but I just want to get rid of some debt that I have. So we're going to put that solely towards credit cards. And this month, I'm going to act as if I did not get a YouTube paycheck. And it's just a little bit of extra money to go to credit cards. So... That's what we're doing. I will not be stuffing that. So I will not be doing a YouTube cash stuffing video for the month of January, maybe in February, but for now we're just gonna do it that way. So let me go ahead and unstuff my wallet very quickly. Nothing in gas. Groceries has 20, 40, 50. Eating out, let's see here, has five, $10. Personal has its full 20. And nothing in buffer. So let me see here. This will be going towards a credit card payment as well. So you guys already know. So we have 20, 40, 60, 70, 75, 80. And then at the end of this month, I will be putting this towards a credit card payment. So right now I'm not counting this, but we will count it at the end of the month. And this was just my rollover money for the month that came out of my wallet. And we are putting it towards credit card payments. So I'm not even thinking about it. I'm not setting aside an additional budget. This is just extra money. And I feel like that is so much easier on me. Like mentally, I feel like it takes less pressure. I feel like it takes pressure off of me to feel like I need to come up with all this extra money. So what I'm doing is just rolling over everything from my wallet to my credit card payments for what I don't use. So I'm trying very hard not to spend money where I don't have to that way. I know in my mind, like this is gonna go towards a credit card payment and I'm spending credit card money. Um, a lot of you don't have to think like that, but I'm trying to be very disciplined this year with my spending and with my debt. And I don't wanna spend recklessly anymore. So if I can be a little bit of a tightwad just with my own self so that I can pay my debt off, then I'm gonna do it. I don't even care. We have, like I said, 757, so I'm just gonna give it a quick count. We have one, two, 300, 350, 400, four, whoops, four, 20, 40, 60, 80, 500, 520, 40, 60, 80, 600, 620, 630, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 700, 710, 20, 30, 40. 745, 750, 751, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Perfect. 757. So we're going to do our usuals here. $50 towards gas. And now, even though I haven't been really spending money on groceries, I like to have it just in case. I am doing a pretty strict meal plan right now. 
$50 towards groceries. So anything that I don't have at home, even though I'm not doing a full like fridge restock, I still want to have grocery money in case I need like a few things here and there. Let's say I, you know, I'm out of eggs and I eat eggs every single day because I need the protein. $50 towards eating out then I'm just going to go buy the eggs. So I want to still make sure that I'm budgeting for groceries, even if I don't end up using it at the end of the week. If I don't use it, then it goes towards credit cards. So it's a win-win for me. Um, let me get an uglier bill here. So that if it gets spent. Personal gets $20. And buffer gets 10 I actually don't have any receipts. I don't know why. I think they might just be shoved in my purse, to be honest. So if I do end up finding those, then I'm going to put those in my Fetch Rewards app along with my other rewards apps to get my cash back and everything like that. I do still use Upside. So basically, since I do cash budget, I always have a buffer in my checking account. So I'll use the Upside app, I'll swap my debit card, and then I'll pay myself back from what I have cash in my wallet. This week ended up being the full $50, so that's why I don't have anything in there for gas this week. But um, yeah, that's basically how I do it. That way I still get the cash back and, <clears throat> and it benefits me at the end of the day. So Mazda gets $134. That's all that it has because like I mentioned to you guys, $120, $30, $1, $2, $3, $4. I am splitting this payment to where I'm making two payments a month. I'm not doing anything extra. I'm not doing anything less. It's still the 536 that I'm putting towards my car. It's just split in half so that it can kind of reduce the interest a little bit here. Car insurance gets 38. Okay, so we are at 50, 70, 90, 100, 105, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So 114. Life insurance gets $50. So we're at 100. Verizon gets 35. So we have 50, 70, 90, 100, 105. And subscriptions gets $30. If you guys see that I like have it stuffed one week and not the next, it's just because my subscriptions come out at different times. So I'm constantly having to like put money in, take money out, things like that. I don't have a problem with it. Again, I live pretty close to my bank and there are, you know, if you guys have Chase, they're basically on every corner. So I don't struggle to actually deposit the money. If I had to, that's just what works for me. Rent gets 250. And now that it's just me, I will be playing around with some numbers as far as my utilities and everything like that go. So, I'm gonna try to see what I can work out here. Um, it, it also is just me, so I don't expect the utilities to be too expensive. I don't, you know, I don't usually turn on the heater. It, I wait until my hampers are completely full to wash my clothes. Um, there's just certain, like I don't use my utilities all day long, if that makes sense. I have all the lights off during the day because I have all my windows open. So I don't expect my bills to be too expensive, but I still want to be prepared just in case, like water and stuff. So we'll see. But anyway, rent has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven fifty. And then all my utilities are getting ten dollars today. So electric has thirty. If anything, I feel like I would normally just get my YouTube paycheck and I'll put, that'll be my extra money for bills if I needed to. Gas gets 30, I mean, gas has 30. So we're just playing around with some numbers. Nothing, nothing crazy, it'll work out. Water has 30 as well. 
And then I did just recently switch internet providers because mine is absolutely horrible. So I have to activate that. I decided to switch over to Spectrum just because that seems to be the popular one in my area that seems to be working for a lot of people. Um, I tried Verizon because I was gonna get a discount through my phone plan, but it ended up being like the worst thing. So it wasn't Fios either. It was a Verizon 5G. And I figured because it was only my sister and me at the time, there wasn't like a bunch of, you know, people using Wi-Fi or anything like that, that it should be okay. But it ended up, they even ended up checking it out for me and they said, no, like in your area, this is probably going to be the worst thing. You don't get really good reception here. So I ended up canceling that and then I'm trying Spectrum now. So hopefully, hopefully I can get some more with this company, but we'll see. We have 10, 20, 21, 22. It ended up only being $5 more than what I currently have. So I don't know. We'll see if it ends up working, hopefully. But anyway, thank you guys so much. I know this was a little bit of a shorter, faster video, but I do appreciate you guys for sticking around. Also, I did want to say thank you guys so much for all the positive comments that you guys left on my last video. I am feeling a lot better. Thank you so much. Like I mentioned, I'm not trying to stay in a place of pity or sadness or anything like that. I fully believe in letting yourself feel your emotions. So I did that and I did that. I felt what I felt. I was sad. I was kind of feeling like I was in a rut a little bit. I was just, you know, I was in a slump and I let myself do that. And the one thing that my mom did with us growing up, as well as my dad, um, my dad would always tell us, you know, if you don't feel good, then at least get ready and you'll look good and it'll make you feel better. So I made sure to get ready every single day. I obviously prayed. I was always having worship music on. And one thing that my mom would always tell us growing up was two things, and it might sound harsh, but let me tell you, this thing worked. And I feel like that's what kind of developed us, like all three of my sisters and I, to be a lot stronger than what we probably would have been. One, she would always tell us, if it's not close to the heart, you'll live. And if it is your heart, God can heal that. Two, she would always say, I'm giving you 48 hours to be ugly, to cry, to feel all that you have to feel, to be in your room, to be lazy, to not do absolutely anything. And after 48 hours, I want you up, I want you ready, and I want you doing something. And so I gave myself my little window to be sad, to be ugly, to be lazy, to not do anything. And my window is up. I have closed it. I am now getting ready. I'm doing everything and I feel so good. Today is Monday. I am resetting everything. I'm cleaning. I'm getting things done. And I am just, you know, I praise God that he never allows us to stay in a slump, that there's always something at the end where he can carry us out of there. So I'm very thankful for that. I'm very thankful for him. I'm thankful for you guys for being so encouraging. I really appreciate you guys so much. You don't even know, like, to have such a positive community, I don't like to have this channel revolve around being negative or complaining or whining or being sad, but at the end of the day, I am only human and I want to be transparent with you guys as well. If I'm not really in a place where I'm on a mountaintop, sometimes I might be in a valley and, you know, I don't mind being transparent with you guys. I feel like, you know, I feel like it would be very hard for me to only show you guys the highlights because that's not reality and then I feel like that puts pressure on people to then feel like they only have to live in highlight moments and it's not like that. It, life doesn't work that way so I'm just trying to be as real as I can with you guys letting you know where I'm at and I am in such a better place and thank you guys so much for being so encouraging. I really appreciate you. I really do feel like I have a huge group of friends with you guys so thank you so much. I will see you all next week. Bye.